What would you do if you win the lottery? You may go on vacation, buy luxurious cars, expensive cloth, or buy a mansion. But here are the five lottery winner who spend the money in the dumbest ways possible. Before we began make sure to hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. Michael Carroll. Michael Carroll is from the UK. In November 2002 at the age of 19, he brought one pound lottery ticket from which he won £9,736,131 on the national lottery. After winning the lottery he enjoyed a celebrity status for a time in the British tabloid media as a lotto loud and king of chavs. Before winning the lottery he used to work as a garbage man and was just collecting trash for a living. When he won the lottery he didn't even have a bank account. After winning the lottery he planned to spend his money frugally and save much of his money. But his plan didn't go as he planned. He blew the entirety of his money on partying, ladies, prostitutes, booze, some illicit substances, and his friends. He became a hardcore drinker and gambler. Within 10 years, he became totally broke. Michael blew his all fortune, and in 2013 he became bankrupt. His high-stakes lifestyle brought a swift end to his marriage to his wife Sandra Aitken. At that time his wife Sandra Aitken was 7 months pregnant when Michael won the lottery. Now Michael is 38 years old and works 7 days a week as a coal delivery man in Scotland. Michael once claimed that when he was rich he woke up and do a line of coke and wash it down with beer. Andrew Jackson Whitaker Jr. In 2002, Andrew Jackson won the largest lottery ever won by a single person in American history, which was an astronomical $314.9 million. He donated large sums of money to charity, he also became careless. He started drinking hard, going to clubs and pubs. One day while visiting a strip club he left $545,000 worth of cash in his car. His car broke into and the money was gone. After losing huge sums of money he didn't learn his lesson because months later his car was broken into again and thieves made off with $200,000 in cash. He was sued by a casino for $1.5 million in bounce checks in Atlantic City. In December 2016 his home caught fire. He had never insured the house. So it was a total loss. Dennis Rossi. In December 1996, Dennis Rossi won a $1.3 million lottery, which she kept secret from her husband to avoid having to give him half of the money during their divorce settlement. Dennis Rossi and her husband Thomas Rossi have been happily married for 25 years. But after winning a $1.3 million lottery, 11 days later, she filed to divorce his husband without telling him about it. After a few months, her husband found out about the reason why she gave him a divorce. In 1999 her ex-husband Thomas Rossi sued his ex-wife Dennis Rossi, and because Dennis Rossi had violated state asset disclosure laws, he was awarded every cent of her 1.3 million lotteries. Which left his ex-wife Dennis Rossi poor and single. James Hayes. In 1998, James Hayes quit his night security job when he won $19 million playing California's Super Lotto game. His $19 million didn't last long. He quickly went from winner to loser. He burned his fortune by buying six different Lamborghini, Porsches, Cuvettes, and other cars. He ever brought a house that cost $13.7 million. At one point he launched a business plan to rent exotic sports cars to high rollers in Las Vegas. He had crazy spending habits. Due to this, he got divorced from his wife. Things got even worse when his ex-wife took half of his fortune. After this James Hayes developed a heroin habit, costing him $1,000 a week. He then resorted to robbing banks to keep up his lifestyle. In 2018, James Hayes pleaded guilty to bank robbery and was sentenced to 33 months in prison. By that time there was not any dollar left of his earnings. Callie Ragers. Callie Ragers was only 16 years old and living in foster care when she won a $2.3 million lottery in 2003. She was the youngest person ever in Britain to win the lottery. She spent her money on tattoos, clothing, drugs, and sports cars. It was reported Callie Ragers dropped about $300,000 on cocaine alone. She also spends a huge amount of money on plastic surgery, gifts, partying, and clothing. She had a series of gold-digging boyfriends, and after way too much partying she went broke. By 2003 she had only around $2,500 left in her bank account. 
hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.